Made in the last year of her life, Ava Hesse's Right After from 1969 is one of my favorite art pieces of all time. Hesse hit her stride as a sculptor while working in a studio as a guest of a German art collector in his factory. I think this is an important po uh, point to make because the minimalists who she was strongly influenced by were also interested in the factory made, as well as the grand gesture and a bit of theater. When I go to visit the Milwaukee Art Museum to see Right After, I often think of my other favorite things to do in Milwaukee, which include going to the grand churches from the 19th century, which are spaces that are transformed by sculptural bodies of the saints and rich materials and a sense of fellowship. In some ways, I think that the art gallery is the house of worship for the scientific era. Artists introduce work into a white-walled space, and the space is transformed into a gathering place of sublime wonder. I look at right after, and I see these mysterious matrices of string, fiberglass string, coated in resin, and they're suspended sort of miraculously. There's no base, and they're held up just by hooks and fishing wire. And I think there's something magical at play here, because they can't possibly be floating without a little help. All of Hesse's work references a strange body, and I appreciate that she used materials that would decay and age, just like our bodies. And I think she was influenced by her experience of having nearly escaped the Holocaust and living through a time of major bodily loss like the Vietnam War. I think it matters, too, that she knew she was dying of brain cancer when she made this work. I'm not sure what part of the body she's referencing. I know it's cool. I like that it's mucousy and membrane-y and tissue-y and intestinal. But then sometimes I wonder, maybe that's not it at all. Maybe it's a spider web, and that right after is the moment where the spider rushes in and wraps up her prey for dinner, saving it for later. Or maybe the mystery of this piece is in those craggy mountains that I see in the cast shadow behind the sculpture on the wall. I'm not really sure what this piece is exactly about, and I like that. I know that Hesse was interested in strange material bedfellows and having a sense of play in the gallery. I like that about this piece. You can go anytime and get a different idea every time you visit. Our generation is lucky to have this piece because so many of her works aren't around anymore. I hope you will go see this piece at the Milwaukee Art Museum and tell me what you think. I'm Paul Baker Prindle. I'm a professor at Edgewood College and a director of the Dorici Gallery in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm a practicing artist myself and a proud Art City contributor.